Donny van der Beek is a red, but we move. Who is next? Every United fan wants us to sign a new centre-back this summer. And Deo Upamecano is the man who I think a lot of you want. So this video is a major update on Upamecano, who I think I'm getting his name right. Let me know if I'm getting it wrong. Probably still am. But an update from Fabrizio Romano, from James Cooper from Sky, from Christian Felt out in Build in Germany, from Upamecano himself. It's a major update, so make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV. If you're new and if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you share the video. But let's run through all of it. And where else are we going to start than Fabrizio Romano himself? This is what he has had to say on Upamecano. He said that United like him, but Leipzig don't need to sell him this summer after Timo Werner. And he doesn't actually expect United to make any move for him. And I think Fabrizio is completely spot on in making that point about Werner. He was Leipzig's main man and they've let him go to Chelsea. So are they really going to let another major player in Upamecano go? Maybe, maybe not. But heads can always be turned if the right bid comes in. We all know that's how football works. So while Fabrizio doesn't expect to move, the onus is on United to pay a fee that they would want to turn their head. And maybe that's not what we're going to do given what's going on with Jaden Sancho. But that's the latest from Fabrizio. And Christian Falk has also had his say on Upamecano. He said that the rumours are not true, that no move will happen for Upamecano this summer by United. Way to piss on my bonfire there. Can't even get excited, Christian, for a couple of days about the idea of him joining United. But all jokes aside, he's sort of agreeing with what Fabrizio has had to say. And clearly, RB Leipzig are pushing back against this news and that's happening in the media about a potential move for him to United. And they're putting their foot down. Now, James Cooper from Sky, he's also had his say on the Upamecano deal. Well, I don't want to rain on that parade, but it seems fitting to do so with it pouring down here in Manchester just outside Old Trafford. I'm afraid I don't think that Upamecano will be coming to Manchester United this summer. He's somebody that Manchester United have scouted, have looked at and have been impressed by. He's 21 years old. He's made a real name for himself across Europe. And I think, you know, he's on a list of sorts. When I say a list of sorts, I don't think it's a list of this summer. So all of the talk right now there from Christian Falk, from Fabrizio Romano, from James Cooper... They're all saying the same thing, that no transfer is expected to happen this summer. But there's contrasting reports, and that's what we always do. We cover everything. Now, these are coming from Frederick Filtvelt out in Norway. Who is he? He works for VG Sports, a prominent Norwegian channel. Now, this is what he's having to say. He's saying that United is trying to clear space in the ranks at centre-back. With Roma working on Smalling and Newcastle interested in Jones, that United want... Upamecano. Now, the reason we're listening to this is because if, if Frederick has his own sources, they're going to be coming from the Solskjaer camp of things because he's from Norway. That's interesting. And he goes a little bit further and he's saying that one problem, both for Sancho and Upamecano, is that United underestimate German culture. And Bundesliga clubs rarely sell late in transfer windows. Now, the point about German culture there is quite interesting. Going to have to do a little bit of research there and look into any clubs that have completed deals late in the window. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any that they have done. But I think the bigger problem with Upamecano is obvious. United need to sell centre-backs. We've got Chris Smalling, Phil Jones and Marcus Rojo, who combined are on over £300,000 a week at Manchester United. That's for three centre-backs who did not play a minute. Well, I mean, maybe played some minutes, I think Phil Jones maybe. Anyway, three centre-backs whose futures lie elsewhere. So for United to make any move for a new centre-back, one or more of those has to leave. So what's the latest on that? Fabrizio has given a big update on Smalling's future, saying the agreement between Roma and United for Smalling is getting close. Smalling wants to come back to Roma. Roma are really pushing to sign him. Smalling did sensationally well out in Serie A. And I've always said that Smalling, he's a bit like Johnny Evans when he left United. Johnny Evans was still a very good centre-back, but at that time... It just wasn't right for him to be at the club. And I think that still exists for Smalling. So we won't struggle to sell him. And that would be a major, major step in the right direction for Upamecano or any centre-back. For United to sign a new one, we need to get rid of one. We've got Smalling, Jones, Rojo, Bay, Twanzebe, Maguire, Lindelof. That's seven I've just thought of right there. So of course we need to sell at least one or two before we get a new one in. If Smalling goes, if Jones goes to Newcastle, Rojo... I don't know where the hell he's going to go. It seems like we've really struggled to sell him. Get all those three off the books. We can definitely move for a new centre-back this summer. And on top of all of these updates, Upamecano himself has been talking about his future. And this is what he had to say. 
He said, I extended my contract with Leipzig because I feel good with my teammates. My coach is giving me confidence. He's learning as well, but he gives me confidence and it improves my level. Now, the interesting part here, I've been in Leipzig for more than three years and I feel good. I have been in demand. I've talked to some clubs. It's true, but I'm not in a hurry. We'll see what happens in the future. So Upamecano himself there stoking the transfer fire. Says he's happy with Leipzig, happy with his manager. And I'm sure he is. Leipzig's an exciting team. But he's in talks with other clubs. The demand around him, he's not ignored it all. He's listened. He's spoken to clubs. It doesn't mean that he's angling and pushing for a transfer away. But it means that he understands his own position. He had a great season. And that, that performance in the Champions League against Atletico Madrid was one that really elevated him to another level. Went to show that at the big moments, he was capable of performing on the big stages. And that, and that was a, a major point of, in, of development in his own young career, considering he's only 21 still. But Upa Meccano has been in talks. And by him saying that in public, it opens the door for United to come in and try and start negotiations. Hell, look, I said this in another video. Look, if we're willing to pay £80 million for Harry Maguire, then 60, £65 million for Upa Meccano clearly is a steal. Clearly, it's fair value. If you can get Van der Beek for £40 million when we were getting quoted that for David Brooks, it goes to show that the Premier League just has major inflation on the signings and the values of the players. And that if you can look elsewhere, if you're scouts, you don't need like the most genius scouts in the world to realise that Upa Meccano is a hell of a talent because he's done it on the biggest stages with one of the biggest teams in the Bundesliga and in the Champions League too. But there's quite a lot of updates there, really. I think the most important updates are the comments from Upamecano himself. He's not pushing for a transfer away, but by saying that in public, he's left the door or pushed the door actually firmly open for other clubs to walk in, namely United. And United are close to selling Smalling. That's another major step in the right direction. Hopefully we can do the same thing with Jones and Smalling in the next couple of weeks. But Fabrizio, James Cooper and Christian Falk, they all say that at this moment in time, it's not expected that United will make a move for him. It doesn't mean a move cannot happen, but that's the situation. With contrasting reports coming out of Norway at the moment, saying that United do want Upa Meccano and are interested in signing him. So it, 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 it's a bit of a juggling act at the moment. There's lots of reports coming from lots of different directions, but the noise is certainly there. And as I said, those comments from Upa Meccano himself, they've really pushed the door firmly open. Let me know what you think about all of the rumours at the moment. I think United, after Van der Beek, is it a centre-back the priority? I would probably say Sancho remains the priority. So maybe that's where all United's focus is going to be. And given what's happened so far with Sancho, maybe we won't be able to deal with two major transfers like Sancho and Upa Meccano at the same time. But I think Sancho is going to be the priority. At the same time, though, I do think a centre-back is also a priority. So fingers crossed United can get both of those deals over the line. A right winger, whether that be Sancho or somebody else. A centre-back, whether that be Upa Meccano or somebody else. But after Van der Beek, United still need to make big signings this summer to compete in the Premier League next year. But that is the latest on Upa Meccano. Make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, make sure you share it. If you're watching it over on Facebook. Until next time, take it easy.